Hi, Jonathan York, Play Financial Partners, uh, looking at investment markets. Uh, potentially could be shaping up as pretty, uh, pretty interesting the next couple of weeks. Um, the first shots have sort of been fired into the uh, investigations into the Trump administration. Um, with Special Counsel uh, Mueller has uh, uh, announced his first indictment. And it's just going to be very interesting now to see how they sort of play through. Um, you know, potentially, obviously, Trump is trying to distance himself, saying all these events occurred before uh, the, the uh, relevant uh, individuals joined his campaign. Um, but I think, uh, you know, that's probably stretching the truth and it's just going to be interesting, I say, to see how it sort of plays through. Against that backdrop, uh, certainly earnings season has been pretty good for the US. Uh, there's been quite a good uh, number of beats on the street. And it's just going to be interesting to see how that sort of, uh, again, sort of plays through. Um, certainly the uh, data coming through as well shows a pretty strong, robust economy, which uh, really all points to a, a Fed rate increase in, uh, in December. Uh, just on the Fed as well, uh, Trump is expected to announce his, uh, his new chair for uh, um, the next term going forward. Um, it's expected to be uh, uh, Jay Powell. Um, so he's going to overlook uh, Janet Yellen, who has really done a pretty good job. Uh, but again, you know, Trump sort of trying to stamp his own sort of authority and his, his own identity on the Fed uh, by announcing his own uh, Fed chair. Still got tax reforms in the US bubbling away as well, and uh, you know they are looking like they're starting to gain a bit of traction. But obviously, you know most of the uh, attention is being centered on the investigation, and that's taken away a little bit of the shine and a bit of emphasis on the tax reforms, which really should be pretty positive for the US economy. So now in November, it's going to be interesting to see uh, the uh, next uh, Bank of England meeting. Um, again, you know, recent data out there on growth uh, has all showed uh, some surprising uh, sort of upticks and inflation is the strongest for sort of five or six years, um, which tends to point to the fact that the uh, Bank of England will be looking to increase interest rates. Again, that's against the backdrop of Brexit, which really appears to be going nowhere fast. In the Eurozone, obviously, we've got the issues uh, in Spain and, uh, you know, the sort of potential breakaway of the, the, the Catalonia region. It'll just be interesting to see really how the Eurozone, you know, can sort of react to this and whether Spain can uh, manage to keep uh, Catalonia within its sort of boundaries and borders or whether it will actually, uh, you know, formally uh, accept and uh, more, more importantly, sort of uh, identify that uh, Catalonia is now an independent state. Um, that appears to be unlikely. Here in New Zealand, we're starting to see a little bit uh, more uh, sort of meat on the bones of the new sort of policies coming through. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern announced yesterday the ban on uh, foreign buyers uh, for New Zealand homes, and it's going to be interesting to see how that sort of plays through. Um, that's expected to come into legislation next year. Um, potentially, there are some implications for the TPP, although uh, Labour are coming out and saying, you know, that's not really an issue as long as we get it passed by a certain date. Obviously, national and opposition now are saying that it actually is an issue and potentially could, uh, could see the breakup of the TPP. Um, I, I suppose really the proof will be in the pudding in, in, in terms of timing and how it sort of plays through. Yeah, but elsewhere, again, New Zealand economy pushing on at a pretty good rate. Um, rates are still expected to stay longer for lower, although they are starting to edge up a little bit. The big move since the election announcement has always been the New Zealand dollar. That's come under quite a bit of pressure. And it's just going to be see, interesting to see where that sort of floor is found. 
um, currently hovering around that sort of 88 and a half to 89 uh, cents versus the Aussie. And it's just going to be interesting to see if we, we see a little bit of uh, buying activity coming in to, at that sort of level. Obviously, there's a little bit of money in the system at the moment. Uh, Rubber Bank repaid their uh, capital securities. Um, also had an announcement from Credit Agricole as well that they're going to repay their uh, uh, subordinated notes in December. Um, so that puts again another little bit of uh, money into the system, which is going to be looking for homes. Um, you know, current bond issues are around the sort of uh, four percent fix for the next sort of five years. Um, it's just going to be interesting to see what's our appetite for that uh, from the retail investor. I'm looking for income, you know, there are plenty of options out there. Of course, on 0800 or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles. I'm looking forward to speaking to you soon.